Rotator cuff muscles of the shoulder. The rotator cuff muscles are a group of muscles that form a musculotendinous cuff which provide strength, support, and stability to the capsule of the shoulder joint. It consists of four muscles, supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, and the subscapularis. The four rotator cuff muscles support the anterior, superior, and posterior aspects of the joint, leaving the inferior part of the joint the weakest. Hence, an inferior dislocation of the shoulder joint is most common. Supraspinatus It originates at the medial two-third of the supraspinous fossa of the scapula. It passes laterally beneath the coracoacromial arch and inserts into the upper part of the greater tubercle of the humerus. Its actions are It initiates the first 15 to 30 degrees of abduction and helps stabilize the shoulder joint. Nerve supply is by the suprascapular nerve. An important point to be noted here is that it is the most commonly torn muscle of the rotator cuff muscles. Infraspinatus It originates at the medial two-third of the infraspinous fossa of the scapula. It passes laterally and upwards and is inserted into the middle impression of the greater tubercle of the humerus. Its action is external rotation of the shoulder. Nerve supply is by the suprascapular nerve. Teres minor. It originates at the upper two-thirds of the lateral border of the scapula. It passes upwards and laterally and inserts into the lowest impression of the greater tubercle of the humerus. Its actions are external rotation of the shoulder. Along with subscapularis and infraspinatus, it helps in the abduction of the shoulder. Nerve supply is by the posterior branch of the axillary nerve. Subscapularis it originates at the medial two-thirds of the subscapular fossa. Insertion is at the lesser tubercle of the humerus. Its actions are internal rotation of the shoulder, adduction of the shoulder. Nerve supply is by the upper and lower subscapular nerves. Additional functions include They resist shearing forces of the deltoid during abduction and flexion, Stabilize the humoral head during movement of the shoulder joint. Clinical correlation. Injury to the suprascapular nerve. This may result from an entrapment of the nerve in the suprascapular foramen or at the spinoglenoid notch. As this nerve supplies the supraspinatus and infraspinatus muscles, injury to the nerve will result in paralysis of these muscles. It results in difficulty in initiating abduction of the arm due to involvement of the supraspinatus and weakness in lateral rotation due to involvement of the infraspinatus. Infraspinatus tendon rupture. This becomes more common after middle age. Pain is felt in front of and above the glenohumeral joint and is more severe during shoulder movements. It results in inability to initiate abduction of the shoulder and hence trouble lifting the arm over the head. A patient with supraspinatus injury usually presents with pain during any shoulder movement and inability to abduct the arm initially but ability to abduct freely after. This is due to the fact that the deltoid takes over the abduction. Injury to the infraspinatus alone only produces inability to rotate the shoulder externally without any other problems.